Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at the report on internal control over financial reporting. This topic is covered in auditing and attestation course and obviously covered on the CPA auditing exam. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,600 plus accounting, auditing, tax, and finance lectures. This is, this is a list of all the courses that I cover. If you like my lectures, please like them. Click on the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Share them. Put them in playlists. If they benefit you, it means they might benefit other people. And please connect with me on Instagram. On my website, you'll have additional resources such as PowerPoint slides, true, false, multiple choice. If you're studying for your CPA exam, 2000 plus CPA questions. Take a look at my website. It's worth check it, checking it out. So the first thing we're going to look at is the auditor's report about the financial statements, the auditor's report about the financial statements. And you might be asking, why do we have to do so? Well, for one thing, we looked at this report in the prior session. And when we looked at that report in the prior session, we had a paragraph and I said, we'll come back to that. And it read, well, let's go over the report real quick. We have the report title, it, word, it mentioned the word independent. It's who, who's it addressed to, the board of directors and the stockholders. In the auditor's opinion, we talked about the financial statements and those statements present fairly in all material respect. If you remember, we talked about this. And when I get to the third paragraph, so this was the first, the second, the third. Under the third paragraph, I said, the auditor will also have to audit in, according with the, with, in accordance with the PCAOB, the company's internal control over financial reporting. As of December 31st, 2019, based on criteria established by COSO, COSO criteria, the Committee of Sponsoring Organization. And I said, I will look at this report in a separate recording. And this recording is where we're going to be looking at this report. So simply put, the auditor will have to basically, for publicly traded companies, they'll have to issue two reports. One, on the financial statements, which we already looked at that. Two, on the internal control. And this is the internal control report that we're going to be looking at today or right now in this recording. So let's go ahead and take a look at the report. Just like with the other report, I'm going to break it down into separate components, go, either, go over each component separately. Then we will, uh, we, will, we, will look, we will look at each one and take it from there. Okay. The first thing is, again, we have a report title and the report title must include the word independent. Just like when we did the financial statement, we had to be independent. We're going to see when we are uh, auditing the internal control, we have to be independent. Again, who, who is it addressed to? The board of directors and the stockholder. Those are the same. Okay. Then we're going to get to the auditor's opinion. And in a sense, it's the same concept. We also have an auditor's opinion. And notice the auditor's opinion when we looked at the report. Let's take a look at the report here. The, author, the auditor's opinion comes first, just like with the financial statements report because it's important the opinion is important so i'm not going to be flipping back and forth but there we go we have the auditor's opinion so let's take a look at the opinion it's listed first so let's see what they said in the opinion first in the opinion it says we have audited audited notice the word audited, internal control over financial reporting of the company they have the company name what else do you need to basically be aware of. The audit for the internal control cover, cover, cover only one period, December 31st, 2019. If you notice the financial statements, they covered multiple period. The, the auditing report covers only one period. Then they tell us what, what criteria they used. Which criteria they used? The criteria is the internal control integrated framework issued by the Committee of Sponsoring Organization, the COSO Treaty. In our opinion, now this is the most important part, the company maintained in all material respect effective internal control over financial reporting. Basically, they're giving them an unqualified opinion. Now, we have something called cross-reference cross paragraph. And what is a cross-reference paragraph? It's to tell you we did mention that we're going to be auditing this report in the other in the others in the other report, which is right here, and they're cross-referencing to this paragraph. Now they're just saying we also we also have audited in accordance with this PCAOB, the consolidated financial statement, December 31st, 2019 and 2018. Notice the audit of the financial statements is for multiple period. The the audit for the internal report is only for one period. So just telling you, just like in this report. 
we cross-reference the internal control. In this report, we cross-reference the financial statement. Okay? In the related consolidated statement of, of, um, of stockholders' equity, cash flow for each three-period ending, actually three-period ending December 31st, and expressed an unqualified opinion on those. So we also expressed an unqualified opinion. So those are the first part of the uh, report. The second part is the basis for the opinion. How did you, How did we come up? with our opinion, what, what are the basis? Well, before we talk about the basis, we need to also explicitly state what responsibility do we have as auditors? What responsibility do management have? Okay, the company's management is responsible for maintaining an effective internal control and for its assessment of the effectiveness of the internal control. So management is responsible for that. Management is responsible for the internal control. Our responsibility as auditor is to express an opinion. Now, our responsibility is only to express an opinion. We are a public company, firm registered with the PCAOB, and are required to be independent. So we're just kind of telling the users that we are independent and we are registered with the PCAOB, okay? Now, how did we conduct the audit? How, do we, how did we conduct the audit? We conducted the audit in accordance with the standard of the PCAOB. So we are part of the PCAOB and the, and the framework we followed is the PCAOB. And this is how we conducted the audit. These standards require that we plan and perform the audit to obtain, notice, reasonable assurance. We never give any guaranteed, any absolute assurance. We always give reasonable assurance about whether the, about whether, whether effective internal control over financial reporting was maintained in all material respect. Now we talked a little bit more about our audit. It includes obtaining an understanding of the internal control, so we did understand it, assess the risk that a material weakness exists, test and evaluate the design and operate and effectiveness of the internal control based on the assessed risk, and perform such procedures as we consider necessary in the circumstances. We believe that our audit report provides a reasonable a short, reasonable, reasonable basis for our opinion. So again, we're explicitly stating how we conducted the this internal control in this internal control testing in this paragraph. This is how did we come up with the basis of our opinion? This is what we did. We're just explicitly saying so. Then we have a definition paragraph, and this is basically a boilerplate definition. Basically, we need to tell the users, what is internal control? What is internal control? Okay. A company's internal control is a process designed to provide reasonable assurance regarding the reliability of the financial reporting and the preparation of financial statements for external purposes in accordance with GAAP. A company's internal control over financial reporting include these policies and procedures, just basically defining internal control. This is the definition of internal control when you study internal control in an accounting 101 course. Pertain to the maintenance of record that that in, re, uh, that in reasonable detail accurately and fairly reflected the transaction and disposition of the asset of the company, provide reasonable assurance that the transaction are recorded as necessary, provide reasonable assurance regarding prevention or timely deduction of unauthorized uh, acquisition use or disposition of the company's assets. So basically just telling you what is internal control, basically the definition of internal control. We don't only stop with the definition, we have to let the users that there's always inherent limitation. In other words, the internal control are not perfect. Something could go wrong and they may not work as, as appropriate. So because of the inherent limitation, internal control over financial reporting may not prevent or detect misstatement. So we're saying we did the testing, it's working, it's, it's working, but we cannot eliminate the possibility that it may not work for many reasons. Also, projection of any evaluation to future period are subject to risk that the control may become in inadequate because of chain changes in condition. So we're saying we're saying what we did now, it looks good, but we cannot we cannot predict anything about the future because of changes in condition. Maybe the employees that are using the internal control, that are maintaining the internal control might change. Maybe their situation might change and may, and may start to to defeat the internal control. So we don't know what's gonna happen in the future or that the degree of compliance with the policies and procedures may deteriorate. So they were complying, but now in the future they may not comply because of changes, maybe personal changes, people who are work, working at the company or changes at the company itself. The company is now coming under um, a tremendous pressure. Then now we, have, we might have to fudge the numbers to look good. So we don't know about the future and we don't know, we don't know what would happen in future period. So we can only say when we tested the internal control, they were effective. That's that only for that specific 
period. So this is basically the report about the internal control. I broke it down into three on, on three on three slides, but basically this is all basically one one report on one page. In the next session, we would look at the unmodified opinion, but we're going to be looking at that report with an emphasis of a matter paragraph or non-standard report wording. If you like this lecture, please click on the like button, subscribe. As always, I would like to remind you to visit my website for additional resources. You're going to be studying for your CPA once. It's a 20 to 30 year investment in your career. Do it properly. Study hard. It's worth it and stay motivated.